Howdy y'all. We're gonna do a have a look see at um, my bottle opener that I made for my Bucks Brew Review videos. Um, th this is it right here. I made this bottle opener sp specifically for Bucks Brew Review um, so that I can open my beers to review for y'all. Um, it's made out of mesquite wood. It's some offcuts from from the box I made not too long ago. All I really did was with a Forstner bit drill a hole about three quarters of the way through, and then with a smaller Forstner bit, just enough for the screw and the and the quarter to fit in there. Also, I wanted to make sure that a bottle cap will fit in between the bottom of that quarter and the and the bottom of that hole. And I put a relief here, and I actually think I'm going to open this relief up more so that you can be able to slide onto the bottle cap a little bit easier. So far, it works really well. Uh, I've opened a few Shiner beers with it. Um... I haven't done any reviews on Shiner Beer yet. Um, I don't know if I should or not. Leave me a comment if you think I should. Um, being a Shiner is probably one of the more easier beers to get around here. And it's not really a um, craft brew or anything like that. <clears throat> but um, if y'all watched the, the build video, I had some problems. I was going to use... A nail or a tack right here to give it more of an old-school look and well every time you pulled on the beer it pulled that tack out so what I ended up using was using just a basic screw and even if I just used a short screw that wouldn't go through it's it pulled through it the, the screws pulled through so what I ended up doing was screwing all the way through and then filing that smooth filing the tip of that screw smooth and it left a little bit of a you know it left a little shine right there but that doesn't matter this is for me uh, I also wanted to make sure that it felt good in my hand which it, it does left or right-handed I'm I'm primarily left-handed I I am a I'm one of them weird folks called it ambidextrous but I also wanted to give it kind of an organic feel. So you notice that no two curves are the same. It's kind of a hand carved, a carved with the sander. Um, and it's really organic. And that's what I was going for. I was going for an organic feel. I left, you know, some of the beetle powder beetle holes in there just just for extra flavor in there but I wanted it I want, like I was saying I wanted that organic feeling I wanted that I wanted it to feel like I could have probably picked it up like this from the ground you know minus the, the quarter I used a quarter in here because I I seen some I was actually looking for a Texas quarter. I could not find a Texas quarter in Texas. Anyway, I just ended up using just a regular old quarter. Uh, if I make more of these, I'm probably just going to use fender washers. Because, I, well, they're about the same amount. Of, yeah, fender washers is about 25 cents a piece anyway. But anyway, yeah, I'm, gonna use a, I'm probably going to be using a fender washer next time. Um... But other than that, you know, it works really well. I did try other other plans. I was thinking, I got a whole bunch of horseshoe tacks. Let me try horseshoe tacks. So that's what I did. And this, it came out a little bulky and a little, I didn't, I didn't like it as much. This is just pine. I was just doing it on pine to make sure it worked. And this is attempt number two, because attempt number one, it cracked right here, even with pre-drilling. You know, just frick, it just blew up. And then with, also with the horseshoe tack, 
you get, it's going to stick out on one side. I tried doing it to where it was on both sides on a temp one, to where I'd have a horseshoe tack sticking out both ends, and it just didn't look right. It it's it looked like Frankenstein, you know, with two bolts sticking out of its neck. Um, I thought it was going to look a lot nicer, and it ended up not looking as good as I thought it was. But it, it works. The only problem is, after about eight or nine beers, this tack is going to bend. Because it's already, after one or two, it's already started to bend. These horseshoe tacks, they're not, very, they're not a very hard metal. It's a softer metal. So, that was proof of concept. It worked, but it wasn't a long-term work. Um... I, I just didn't like it as much because the horseshoe tack stuck out so far and it made it look like it made me think Frankenstein and it wasn't as organic as like this one I like I like the way this one's shaped in the end um, feels good in the hand it actually works really well and it doesn't bend that quarter it doesn't bend the washer so I, I ended up sticking with this one and this one's for the win, basically. Um, so, yeah. Just a basic little bottle opener. It's really nice. I really enjoy it. Enjoyed making it. Um, let the sawdust fly. Let the man glitter get all over the place. And... Hopefully... I'll be able to find actual beer bottles for my brew review because right now my first six episodes of the brew review are going to come out of cans because the place I went to buy my beers uh, only had cans for make your own six pack. They didn't have any bottles. So, yeah. Uh, other than that, just remember, Texas isn't just a place. It's a state of mind.